Hi, my name is Jean-Michel Jarre, welcoming Headline Eye to my studio. So here we are in the cabin of the studio. I mean, I have uh, some other rooms uh, with uh, lots of other keyboards and also a re rehearsal room, but this is kind of a uh, cabin where uh, I, for each project, I choose, for instance, uh, from my, uh, uh, for all my collection, some, some instruments dedicated for the project I'm working, I'm working on. So this is, uh, uh, have, this is a very interesting instrument. It's a Mellotron, but it's a digital version of the Mellotron done by the, uh, uh, by the, the original uh, Mellotron team. I have two real Mellotrons with the tapes and the people who are listening to us and, and probably knowing what I'm talking about. But this is the digital version. It's very light and it's good for, for traveling. And, the, and what's amazing about it, it's, uh, it's uh, very identical to the original sound without the noise and the weight. So it's quite, quite cool. And uh, so this is also a, a very interesting uh, uh, instrument uh, from Korg, one of the first instruments developed by, by Korg. And I had, uh, I had this instrument uh, a long time ago when I started, and they just redid it absolutely uh, the, the, uh, the perfect analog uh, version, identical to the, uh, to, the, the, um, uh, to the original one and uh, with no noise and, and, and working perfectly. And this is just uh, one, uh, one, what we call the, the Moog Sub 37. After the Bob Moog uh, passed away, one of the iconic Moog of the new generation, very useful. And uh, here you have the, uh, some uh, Eurorack uh, uh, modules and I have some other in, in other rooms, but the, these are quite uh, interesting. Is the, the, the new generation of modules. I started with uh, the big modular Moog and uh, modular to, to uh, uh, R2500, and uh, years later, suddenly, uh, modular synthesizers became quite hot again with all the new generations. And, and what's in interesting is you have lots of of uh, lead small companies and developers developing some modules. And the idea is actually uh, to, uh, to, to create uh, um, your own system with, lot, with, with, your, favorite, with your, your favorite modules and then getting your own sounds. And that, that's, that's quite, quite exciting. This is a, a very interesting uh, instrument but developed by, uh, by um, a French uh, company called Expressive. And this is the Osmos. And this is a re totally revolutionary instrument. Uh, it's actually is going to be uh, released commercially today. It's quite uh, and and what 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 this instrument is? Uh, why is it so in, uh, in, in interesting? Is because each keys you can you can actually depending on okay you have velocity depending on the uh, you have the aftertouch, but also you can also horizontally you can also having other sounds. So you can, for each key, you have eight different possibilities of, uh, of, uh, of, 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 um, uh, of expression, of expression. And, and, uh, uh, of course that creates something absolutely unique for, even if, if you are a, a, a good, uh, pianist or a good key keyboard player, or if you are just, uh, exploring, it's amazing because you, you can actually for each key. And if you, if you, if you, uh, play a chord of uh, I don't know six six notes or seven notes. Yeah, it makes that for each finger you have eight different possibilities of expression. It's it's absolutely crazy, absolutely amazing. And of, of course, it looks like a bento box, you know, like a Japanese uh, sushi box. It's uh, very very clean, very 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 beautiful. And this is an SSL desk, which is uh, actually a, a mix a mixture of my old days when I was using a huge. Uh, SSL uh, uh, SSL uh, console these days with uh, with those we I need l less uh, uh, less big ones but it still have the same possibilities as, as the real SSL but also uh, did also linked with uh, modern technology and and the fact that you can you can actually uh, this console can be a pure analog console but at the same time creating a dialogue with uh, uh, with digital dose. 
This one is uh, also an interesting keyboard, quite new also, called the C15. And it's uh, created by one guy called Stefan Schmidt, who is one of the founders of Native Instrument. And it's a fantastic instrument with two uh, ribbon controllers and, uh, and the sound is very, uh, is very unique. And this, is, this has nothing to do with this, but I, use, I am using it. This is called La Voix du Luthier and it's like a, a acoustic, it's an acoustic speaker. It's actually an acoustic resonator, and it gives you. It's like if you were uh, putting the sound of um, of a synthesizer into a cello, and, and and hearing the result. So it has the 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 kind of shape, almost like a tiny uh, vertical grand piano, you know. And and the resonator creates that uh, uh, any kind of sound of this instrument. I choose that. Uh, uh, it was a personal choice to to use this instrument for that, and goes through. This resonator and I can record the, the synth with microphones, stereo mic or, or mono mic. And, and the sound is of, of course uh, totally, spe to totally special. This is uh, one of the, uh, this is I would say the Rolls Royce of uh, Moog, is the Moog one. Uh, is uh, I, my, one of my favorite polyphonic instruments was the Memory Moog and I still love it. And this is the Memory Moog uh, 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 I would say uh, multiply by 10, which is a, a fantastic uh, instrument. You can do almost everything. It's, it's almost too much because it's uh, each time you, you play with this, that, I mean, it's, uh, you can uh, spend the rest of your life just by, uh, uh, by tweaking and, and, and exploring. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a very an, inter interesting instrument. And, and this one is uh, just, uh, uh, just there for a project. It's called the Paraphonic 505 from Roland. It's a, a analog instrument which, which, which uh, I mean, just uh, uh, where you have a kind of uh, strings and, uh, and and very. It has this kind of very raw, raw, um, raw sound that has a kind of this, this kind of vintage, quite vintage poetic approach that I, I always love and to mix with some more modern instruments is always interesting. It's like Actually, when you con when you compose with electronic instruments, for me, it's like composing for an, or an orchestra. You need all these kind of different uh, uh, timbers, uh, that uh, uh, strings or woodwinds or, or brass or percussions is offering us, and it's the same thing, actually. So for each project, uh, uh, I, I, these these are, these instruments I, I use for for recently. Some of them for Oxymore and some of them for other projects I'm uh, I'm working on at the moment.